Hi everyone, it's Logan. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, in this video, I just wanted to do a quick overview on my current chest rig setup. Uh, this is a Velocity Systems Mayflower Gen 4. Um, I've had this chest rig for uh, just under two years now. Um, so I feel like I can kind of give you a good idea of uh, what it's like to use and uh, some of the quirks about it, some things I like, some things I don't like. So with that being said, we'll go ahead and get into it. Um, go ahead and start with the harness here. Uh, this is a H type harness. Um, it's held on by these swift clips here. So uh, if you wanted to completely remove the harness, you can um, then set it up to a, like a plate carrier or something like that. Um, you have some uh, comms or cable management here. I don't have any comms, so these aren't in use yet, but they're there if you, if you have that stuff. Um, just a Velcro placard here. You put name tape on there like I have, or flags, what have you. Um, kind of whatever you want. You've got some real estate there, so. Go ahead and flip this over here. Um, this is the back side of your harness, and you can detach it there and over here. So, you have a uh, strap that goes around your back, it just kind of keeps it in place and keeps it from flopping around while you're moving. Um, you've got some more Velcro on the sides here. Uh, I believe these kind of marry up to a uh, plate carrier, but I don't have one to show that or uh, I haven't seen that yet. So um, You got some loop or hook Velcro here. I believe you can get danglers for these um, I don't have one yet, but it is in the plans. So then We'll get into the chest rig itself So kind of start from left to right here uh, this general purpose pouch, or sorry, I'll just go ahead and state there's uh, two general purpose pouches here on your outsides, um, two smaller ones on the inside, two pistol mag pouches, and then a uh, four mag rifle placard uh, in the back. Um, you have two smaller. Um, like flashlight shaped pockets. You can keep a multi-tool in there if you want. Um, most of these have weep holes on the bottom to uh, drain water. Uh, the, so, yep, that one does too. So both uh, the bigger general purpose ones have them. Um, <clears throat> so go ahead and dive into what I have here. In this one, I have just some uh, miscellaneous medical supplies. I've got some tape, some uh, um, packing gauze in there, ABD pads, 4x4s, all that stuff, um, all to help control breathing, or bleeding. Um, next to that is a tourniquet. It's just a Gen 7 uh, cat tourniquet. And... Uh, Make sure you have medical stuff on you. Um, God forbid something happens, you wanna have access to that. And also, I would say more importantly, know how to use it. So um, make sure make sure you have that on you. Um, in this pouch, I have a, just a 20 round magazine, uh, just to keep a little additional ammo on me. These pistol pouches, uh, like I said, holds two mags, one each here. Um, I have found that, so I run a uh, Glock 17 Gen 5 as my primary handgun. The Glock mags, uh, they fit a little tight in here. Um, drawing them's fine and they they fit in there just fine it's just kind of re-indexing it can kind of snag on stuff it is cut just 
the right size for them. So note that they work well with uh, like SIG magazines or Smith & Wesson, the thinner uh, metal magazines they work well with. So just be aware of that. Um, in this pouch, I have a uh, headlamp uh, and that does have red light. And this, uh, I call it a flashlight pouch. I, I do keep a streamlight um, flashlight in there just as a handheld. Um, that's on my nightstand right now, so I don't keep it in there all the time, but that's what goes in there. And then this pouch here. Some people I've seen, they keep radios in here, and uh, you absolutely can. There's additional Velcro pieces in there to uh, help secure it if you wanted to tuck this flap kind of down in there and then use those other pieces to secure it. So this will hold two um, standard M4 mags. Um, so I, I keep a full combat load in this thing. Uh, four across uh, the front here, two over here, six mags, and uh, an additional one in the rifle. So full combat load. Um, I forgot to mention too, I keep a pen over here for writing things with a pen. Uh, back here, this is kind of an admin pouch. I keep some maps in there. This is a small right in the rain. Um, I actually have this from uh, my military days. So I actually have some, uh, some of my, uh, what do you call them? Acronyms in there. TC, your March, all that stuff. Um, keep that in there just for reference. So uh, the maps, unfortunately, uh, they're they're kind of useless right now because I don't have a compass. Um, so that's in the works at some point. But uh, you can get local maps if you didn't know off of uh, the internet. They're usually free. Um, I don't remember the website off the top of my head because it's been a little while, but you can get local maps of your area that shows topographical uh, features and um, whatnot. So, um, and I need to take a land nav class at some point because I'm, I'm a little bit rusty on that. It's been a while. Uh, so yeah, that, that kind of sums up my uh, chest rig setup. Overall, I've been pretty happy with it. Uh, and I forgot to mention too, this uh, this mag placard here. So you have your uh, elastic uh, loops here. Just kind of move those to the side, draw a mag. Um, or you can just keep them down like so. Uh, I will say that metal mags, they fit kind of loose in here. So, I haven't had one fall out yet, keeping the elastic down, um, but I'm sure with some very aggressive movement, it could happen. Uh, I found that PMAGs tend to fit a little tighter in here. Um, <clears throat> the elastic, I'm not, it's kind of a love-hate relationship with it because they, they kind of snag on the magazines when you're trying to re-index them. Um, I found that to be a small issue, but I guess that's what they have dump pouches for. And, uh, yeah, um, I don't use it a lot, but if you're, if you wanted to secure your magazines, you can just use that elastic there. So now that covers everything. Um, overall it's, it's been a pretty solid chest rig. Uh, I've used it a decent amount and I like it quite a bit. There's just as few quirks and uh, the, you know, if you like this type of chest rig, great. You can't really modify it um, from its original uh, or how, how it shows up just because everything's sewn in. But um, I, I like the pouches. I like, uh, you know, Pretty much everything about it so i would recommend it to anybody 
Um, so, anyways, I uh, I thank you very much for watching. Um, if you could, please like, uh, comment, subscribe. Your subscription will um, help this channel grow. That's my goal. Uh, get this content out to you guys so um, you can build out your kits as well. So, thank you again for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next video.